It's that time of year. If you're feeling under the weather, you can input your symptoms and get a personalized assessment from your artificial intelligence health companion. <laughs> Technology consultant Francie Black is here to show us how it works. Is this a good idea? People say don't ever <laughs> use the internet to figure out what's wrong with you. I think this is a fabulous app for multiple reasons, but I want to ask you before you see this app, what do you do if you have a health concern for a family member or a friend? And you I want to Google it. It's the worst thing you can ever possibly do. Yeah, and what happens? You get what? A hundred thousand things, and you have no idea if any of it's true. That's right. <laughs> and you don't know if it's credible or not. Sure. And does it take into account your health history? No. No. Okay. So all of those things are solved with this app, and it actually uses artificial intelligence, uses your health history, and helps you narrow down what it might be. Okay. And it's really smart and it's really good from a user perspective, but I also think the technology behind it is really incredible. They actually research thousands and thousands of medical, um, real medical, val verified medical information to help narrow down the information. So it's really cool. So let me show you how it works. Okay. It's called ADA and it's been around in Europe for about a year where they were testing it and it's ju been just released into the U.S. Okay. okay. So the way that it works and it's very simple is it says after you enter in your health history, so let's say you have diabetes or high blood pressure, that's already in the system and you only do that once. Okay. okay? When you sign up. All right. And then say you're having a symptom. Let's start with the symptoms that's troubling you the most. Okay. And you can put in here fever, headache, rash, whatever it might be. How long has this been happening? You put less than a day, one week, one month. And notice it gives you options. And so you tap on it. So this moves very fluidly. Okay. Then does the fever repeat? Very high temperatures. Yes, no, or not. So it's starting okay. to narrow down. Now, what's so cool about this, I'm going to play this little video here is you'll see this move fluently. Those are screenshots, but it's almost like you're having a conversation with a health professional. You'll see how fluidly it moves. So I'm going to go through here and um, I'm going to play this. And so we've put in fever and then how long has this been troubling? And you'll see that it just scrolls through very quickly, very prompting. And it's literally like you're having this discussion, right? But if there's not a real person on the other side, what's really happening is that there's these artificial intelligent bots that are scanning all this data and narrowing it down based on your health assist assessment, okay? So I'm gonna take you back up here on this screen. So one of the things that, I actually tested this. Now my brother had Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever years ago. I was treated for Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Were you fever. really? I was. Okay, so I tested this. I put in the symptoms for Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever to see if it would actually come back with that. And that's a regional, fairly regional disease. And so we put in fever and all the things. And the three options it came back with were Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Severe Acne, or the flu. So it actually came back with that, which I was pretty surprised about, okay. which was really cool. Now, the other thing that it does for any of these symptoms is that it lists it out and gives you more information. It says, hey, if you have, in this case, it was high fever um, and some other symptoms, but it says seven out of 10 people with these symptoms had this condition, okay? So it actually gives you some background information and more and again, it's not trying to be a diagnosis. It's never a replacement for... That's what we need to stress. <laughs> this is not your doctor. This, this is, is not meant to be your doctor. <laughs> Correct. Okay. But it's a great guidance to let you know, hey, maybe this is severe. Maybe I should get it checked out and help give you some information. And it's on the spot, anytime, any place, which is so cool. Um, the other thing that you can do with this is that you can save that information. It gives you this assessment, what those options are, put your health history all in a PDF, and you can save it or share it and take it with you to the doctors. Sounds good. Once you've got that information there and maybe get a starting point to start looking. Yes. Okay. So it's super simple, very intelligent, very conversational, immediate assessment anywhere you are and verified information much faster and quicker than Google. Okay. If you want the information, I'll send it out to you at uh, just send me an email at info at ipadwisdom.com and I'll put subscribe and uh, we'll get that sent out to you. All right, we'll also have it on our website, WLOS.com. Just click on text time. Francie, thanks. Thank you.